Good morning and welcome back. Today is December the 18th of 2021 and we are in Exodus 29 today. Um, Exodus 29 is going to talk about Aaron and his sons consecrated and the daily offerings. So let's get into it. And this is what you shall do to them to hallow them for ministering to me as priests. Take one young bull and two rams without blemish, and unleavened bread, unleavened cakes mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil. You shall make them of wheat flour. You shall put them in one basket, and bring them in the basket with the bull and the two rams. And Aaron and his sons you shall bring to the door of the tabernacle of meeting, and you shall wash them with water. Then you shall take the garments, put the tunic on Aaron, and the robe of the ephod, the ephod, and the breastplate, and gird him with the intricately woven band of the ephod. You shall put the turban on his head, and put the holy crown on the turban, and you shall take the anointing oil, pour it on his head, and anoint him. Then you shall bring his sons, and put, his, put tunics on them, and you shall gird them with sashes, Aaron and his sons, and put the hats on them. The priesthood shall be there for a purpose, Perpetual statute, so you shall consecrate Aaron and his sons. You shall also have the bull brought before the tabernacle of meeting, and Aaron and his sons shall put their hands on the head of the bull. Then you shall kill the bull before the Lord, by the door of the tabernacle of meeting. You shall take some of the blood of the bull, and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger, and pour all the blood beside the base of the altar. And you shall take all the fat that covers the entrails, the fatty lobe attached to the liver, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, and burn them on the altar. But the flesh of the bull, with its skin and its ophal, you shall burn with fire outside the camp. It is a sin offering. You shall also take one ram, and Aaron and his sons shall put their hands on the head of the ram. And you shall kill the ram, and you shall take its blood and sprinkle it all around the altar sprinkle it all around on the altar. Then you shall cut the ram in pieces, wash its entrails and its legs, and put them with its pieces and with its head. And you shall burn the whole ram on the altar. It is a burnt offering to the Lord. It is a sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. You shall also take the other ram, and Aaron and his son shall put their hands on the head of the ram. Then you shall kill the ram, and take some of its blood, and put it on the tip of the right ear of Aaron, and on the tip of the right ear of his sons, on the thumb of their right hand, and on the big toe of their right foot, and sprinkle the blood all around on the altar. And you shall take some of the blood that is on the altar, and some of the anointing oil, and sprinkle it on Aaron, and on his garments, on his sons, and on the garments of his sons with him, and he and his garments shall be hallowed, and his sons and his sons' garments with him. Also you shall take the fat of the ram, the fat tail, the fat that covers the entrails, the fatty lobe attached to the liver, the two kidneys and the fat on them, the right thigh, for it is a ram of consecration, one loaf of bread, one cake made with oil, and one wafer from the basket of the unleavened bread that is before the Lord. And you shall put all these in the hands of Aaron, and in the hands of his sons. And you shall wave them as a wave offering before the Lord. You shall receive them back from their hands, and burn them on the altar as a burnt offering, as a sweet aroma before the Lord. It is an offering made by fire to the Lord. Then you shall take the breast of the ram of Aaron's consecration, and wave it as a wave offering before the Lord, and it shall be your portion. And from the ram of the consecration you shall consecrate the breast of the wave offering, which is waved, and the thigh of the heave offering, which is raised, of that which is for Aaron, and for that which is for his sons. It shall be from the children of Israel, for Aaron and his sons by a statute forever. For it is a heave offering. It shall be a heave offering from the children of Israel, from the sacrifices of their peace offerings, that is, their heave offering to the Lord. And the holy garments of Aaron shall be his sons after him, to be anointed in them and to be consecrated in them. 
that son who becomes priest in his place shall put them on for seven days, when he enters the tabernacle of meeting to minister in the holy place. And you shall take the ram of the consecration and boil its flesh in the holy place. Then Aaron and his son shall eat the flesh of the ram and the bread that is in the basket by the door of the tabernacle of meeting. They shall eat those things with which the atonement was made, to consecrate and to sanctify them. But an outsider shall not eat them, because they are holy. And if any of the flesh of the consecration offerings, or of the bread, remains until the morning, then you shall burn the remainder with fire. It shall not be eaten, because it is holy. Thus you shall do to Aaron and his sons, according to all that I have commanded you, Seven days you shall consecrate them, and you shall offer a bull every day as a sin offering for atonement. You shall cleanse the altar when you make atonement for it, and you shall anoint it to sanctify it. Seven days you shall make atonement for the altar and sanctify it, and the altar shall be most holy. Whatever touches the altar must be holy. Now this is what you shall offer on the altar, two lambs of the first year, day by day continually. One lamb you shall offer in the morning, and the other lamb you shall offer at twilight. With the one lamb shall be one-tenth of an ephah, a flour mixed with one-fourth of a hen of pressed oil, and one-fourth of a hen of wine as a drink offering. And the other lamb you shall offer at twilight, and you shall offer with it the grain offering and the drink offering as in the morning, for a sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. This shall be a continual burnt offering throughout your generations at the door of the tabernacle of meeting before the Lord, where I will meet you to speak with you, and there I will meet with the children of Israel, and the tabernacle shall be sanctified by my glory. So I will consecrate the tabernacle of meeting and the altar. I will also consecrate both Aaron and his sons to minister to me as priests. I will dwell among the children of Israel, and will be their God. And they shall know that I am the Lord their God, who brought them up out of the land of Egypt, that I may dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. Alright, that's the end of the chapter. There was something that I was reading earlier that... I should highlight these as I read them so I can remember what stood out to me. Let me try to find it real quick. All right. Sorry for the pause. I remember what it was. It was starting in verse 10 and kind of reading through a little bit. But they brought a bull and a ram. Um, and both of those would have been the male species of their, you know, of their, or the male of their species. Um, you know, a bull being the male and a I guess a heifer being the female or, you know, being cows. And then uh, a ram being a goat. Um, there's also a female goat. And I, I don't know this. It's just sort of me, something that popped into my head, a question that popped into my head when I was reading that. Is there symbolism for the for bring, bringing only the male, um, you know, instead of just any cow? It, it was specifically stated a bull. And rather than just any goat, it was specifically stated a ram. Um, and I wondered if there was symbolism to that, you know, um, being, I mean, like it says the man is the head of the house and things like that later on in the Bible. And I'm wondering if that's part of that. I don't know. Just kind of something that um, stood out to me um, or a question that popped into my head while I was reading. Um, and there was something else. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Sorry, I'm not finding the actual verse, but and it was just a very simple thought that went into my head. It was talking about the, uh, you know, burning the the sacrifices, and it was a sweet aroma to the Lord. Um, and I, I was just thinking as I read through that, I was like, you know, you know, when somebody in your neighborhood is is grilling or whatever, and you you smell that, and you you know, that's the aroma of that is is in the air and that's kind of just what popped into my head it's that's not a spiritual thing that's just a you know when i was reading knowing how good it smells when somebody is grilling or whatever and how pleasing that smell is and that you know god is telling us that that that's his his reaction it's a sweet aroma to him 
So anyway, that's chapter 29 and look forward to reading chapter 30 with you tomorrow. And let's say a little word of prayer before we go. Father God, we thank you for today and we just thank you for giving us another day here on earth. God, I pray that we would uh, that we would all use this day for your glory and that we would uh, use this day to be pleasing to you. And Father God, I just love you and I thank you for uh, watching over us and keeping us safe, Lord. And God, I just thank you for providing for our needs. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.